We're gonna see if this thing shocks me. Here we go. One, two, three. What's going on guys? Today we're doing a little unboxing slash product review over the uh, Sportsman Dog brand shock collar. I got this collar from my uh, dog about, gosh, probably about three weeks ago now. And um, I wanted to do a little product review over it. Before we get into the unboxing, uh, we're gonna do the shout out of the day. So going into my last video's comments, let's see. Parker Haling says, shout me out on your next video. Play me on some Fortnite. Bro, I'll definitely be down to play you on some Fortnite. Add me, uh, let's see, yeah. Add me on Fortnite, at Young Money Kiss, um, and we can ball up on some Fortnite. Uh, anyone else who wants to play, add me. Let's go, let's go. Dubs only. If you want a comment shout out, it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is drop a comment below, and uh, your comment could be picked in the next video. So uh, go ahead and do that right now. So I got this shot collar at Cabela's. It was $99. Um, they all range anywhere from $80 to $800. All depends on what you want inside the uh, shot collar, um, detailed wise. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna read some of the stuff on this box here. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, aspects on the uh, collar itself, and then I'm gonna basically rate it for y'all. On the back it says, perfect for obedience training around the house or yard, 100 yards range, waterproof, water resistant transmitter. It's got eight levels of static stimulation. It also has a tone button which basically you um, click it and it beeps. There's no vibration at all, it's just, just a quick beep. It also has a transmitter and receiver feature replaceable with um, lithium batteries, which are included, uh, basic training instructions. So this, uh, I got this collar basically for, like it says in the back, obedience training, uh, just house training. If I let my dog out, he's not gonna run in the street because I can stop him with a either shock or just a little uh, noise sound. Uh, I'm eventually, because I, I have a, a Vishla, and um, they are really, really good for hunting dogs, bird hunting dogs. So I'm eventually going to get a, a collar for that purpose. Uh, it's going to be a lot more expensive, but I just wanted, you know, this basic around the house. It only goes 100 yards, perfect for house training. For the collar itself, like I said, I've been using this for three weeks now. You get a little strap here you can put over your neck, and then uh, this is the uh, actual remote. So the remote is real simple. You have a button on the side. You click that and um, it basically makes a noise or a beep on the collar. There's no shocking, there's no vibration on the collar itself. When you press it, all it is is a little beep. I use that about 99% of the time, um, just because that's all I have to do and he'll, he'll listen or come back to me or do whatever I want him to do. The top right of the remote, you have a little knob, goes from one to eight. This is uh, how powerful you want the shock to be uh, when you actually decide to shock him. So I usually, like, I usually don't have to go more than about four or five. And that's mostly because my dog has barely any fur. So, like, it doesn't take much for him to feel it. So four or five usually does the trick. I've done seven before, and, uh, I mean, I don't need to do it. It's way too much for him. So I usually stick at four. And with that knob, you get two buttons right below it. The top button is for a, basically, if you click it, it's a one, one-time shock, one-time static um, tone vibration to it. The bottom button, it's continuous, so I'll do it about three or four times, and that's basically if your dog's really, really not um, communicating with you and, and doing what you want. On the back, there's a little round circle here. Unscrew that, you put your two lithium batteries in it. Like I said, they come with it. I've had this remote, for, like I said, for over three weeks, and I still haven't had to replace the batteries, so they do, do indeed last a long time. Moving to the collar, this is what it looks like. We'll get a close up of that. To start off this collar, you got two little metal bars coming out the back of the collar. That's actually what connects to the neck of your dog. They're, they actually they actually come with little longer ones as well if your dog has a lot of fur. Make sure it reaches the skin so they can actually feel the shock, uh, which is pretty nice. It comes with that. You don't have to buy that extra. So that's pretty, pretty cool that a Sportsman brand added that to the uh, collar. Moving to the front, you got two screws. Unscrew those. Two lithium batteries go in there. Like I said, they come with it. And then to the left of the battery pack, you got a little button, and that's what turns on your uh, your collar here. So here are your two products. You got your collar and you got your remote. You wanna turn it on, this is what you do. Real, real simple. All you do is click and hold the little button on the collar. It'll beep about five times, then you let go. Then you'll see a little red button keep beeping right above the battery pack. And uh, basically that's how you know that is on and is ready to go. What I usually do right when I turn it on, I click the little side button, like I said, that's just the beep to make sure it's on and working. So here we go. You hear that? Beep. That's all I do. I can put my hand on the little shocking thing, press it. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, no, it just beeps. That's all it does. Beep. You can hold it down. I mean, it's super simple. 
I use that about, like I said, about 99% of the time. Um, that's all I have to use and he'll come to me. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to test this out. So I'm going to turn the knob up all the way to 8. I'm not going to put my hand on the uh, metal thing, but I'm going to put my hand on the back side of this collar. And we're going to see if this thing shocks me. Here we go. One, two, three. Nope. Doesn't do anything. But I know it's working because there's a red light on the uh, actual remote here. But I, I ain't touching that little metal piece, I can tell you that. Uh, but I guess you can't feel it from that part, which is, I guess, good. There's nothing bad, nothing wrong with that. And uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Like I said, I just want a little obedience training around the house. Uh, works up to 100 yards. You don't need any more than that uh, for around the house training. And um, yeah, so out of five stars, I would rate this product probably, I'll say four stars. I would honestly say four stars. The only problem I had was a couple times, like I would try to press the shocking thing and he wouldn't like, nothing would happen. I don't know if it was because it was really, really cold outside when I was trying to do it and it just wasn't able to transmit to the air or whatever, but a couple times I had that problem. But I mean, for the price and overall, it's been great. Uh, like I said, I paid 99 bucks for this. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. It's free, you got nothing to lose. Uh, just good content coming your way. If y'all would like this video, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. It's free. All you got to do is click the red button. And uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Until then, I'll see y'all in that next video. Peace.